to the Italian Football Podcast. Just before we finish off, um, let's look ahead now. Let's try and bring some light to all this darkness and look at what the next, the new Italy can look like under Luciano Spalletti now that he is staying. Spalletti said in his press conference on Sunday that um, he will be looking to pick a younger Italy squad with more energy, Good. with more Good. energy going forward. Fantastic. Um, so what we what we will do, Nima, is let's go through, first of all, the, the, the Italy's Euro 2024 squad. I'm going to read through each player, very, very simple, in or out, whether we we whether they should be part of the new Italy looking ahead to the 2026 World Cup or this should they should be axed and mm. this should be the end of them. So starting off with the with the three goalkeepers, Donnarumma, that's an easy one, in. He's the captain. So. Yeah. Vicario. In. In the squad. Second goalkeeper. Meret. Out. Carnesecchi or Di Gregorio. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Di Gregorio for me. Um, let's go through the defence now. Di Lorenzo, out? Out. I think it's he's not going to because mm. that's his son, quote-unquote, um, which is stupid, but he's not going to. But I think, yeah. yes, I think it's time to start looking for different options. Federico Di Marco. Out. He doesn't suit Spalletti's system, and it's a waste of everyone's time. Hmm. I, I would keep him in for now, but I would certainly probably pick Udoji as as my um, as my starter, and maybe Di Marco could be someone to come, somebody to come on when the when the tempo uh, is dropped. Um, you know, last thirty minutes or, or something to give that quality. But but yeah, I, I do see your point there. Buongiorno. It, well, no point in calling him up. Hmm. Because he's a cent- he's a center center back in a back three, and he doesn't want to play with that. So no, but he oh. can he can he can. I, I would say in. Listen, he I would say in. Not a starter, but it has to be in. We need we need we need. But he can't play in a back four, and he can't play in a high line. What? Well, What's the uh, point? Yeah. What's, I mean, this is what I mean, Carlo. Look, you can't. We can't sit here and say you can't tinker. And look, you. Well, I remember listen, we'll come to, when we'll Roberto come, Mancini. We'll come to the alternatives. Listen, we'll, I remember when Roberto Mancini was not called up by the Italy side due to also off-field issues, but also tactical issues. Right. I remember when when uh, when the, when when Lippi got rid of Roberto Baggio. Yeah. Twice. Well, yeah, okay? but we had we had sorry. we had world class alternatives yeah, there. No, you no, don't but, call up well, Buongiorno, I... you can who do you call up? Gianluca Mancini. I mean No, but no, I'm, listen, my point is if you're gonna play with a back four, if you're gonna play with a high line, you need either that or get rid of Spalletti. You can't have it both ways. Because it's obvious that when Spalletti Spalletti's not capable of doing mm. things. Well listen, for me for me he's in because until until you can give me better alternatives to be in the squad, I, I I'm gonna have to go with Bonjourno. We have to work well, with Well I'm not look again to, with just just to, just to, before I have some idiot coming at me, I'm not saying that Bonjourno's not good enough to be in the Italian team. What I'm saying is Yeah, well, we're talking that, about the squad, yeah. The squad. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm not saying that Bonjourno's not good enough to be in the Italian national team. That's not what I'm saying. So I don't need someone coming at me saying, Oh, you said he's not good enough. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if he doesn't suit uh, Spalletti's system they shouldn't be in the team because it, otherwise like I said earlier look at what happened against in this tournament the tinkering back and forth yeah. it doesn't work That's well, what well yeah listen I, I hear your point I hear your point I'm just saying that also we have to be realistic with the options and if you don't call up Bongiorno because it doesn't necessarily suit suit his style of play, then well, you have to have another sense back in the squad. Yeah. So who are you going to have? You know, you're not going to have Gatti, you're not going to have Mancini, you're not going to have I don't know who you're going to have Casale, Romagnoli. These players are ill fits in as well. Yeah. You know, we don't have the options. So mm. you know, I think for that reason, he has to be in the squad. I wouldn't start him though. Uh, Gatti out for sure. Yes. Damian out. Yeah, for sure. Bellanova mm. in, but actually given a chance. <laughs> yeah, but again, he's not a fullback, is he? Mm. Until I see him playing as a fullback. Yeah. What's the but point? then nor was Odoji. Odoji wasn't a fullback, and he and he managed to adapt. Yeah, but Odoji is different because Odoji has shown that he can play as a fullback. Yeah, at, at top. We need Belenova to join a, a, back, a team and play the plays a back four basically yeah. and prove himself. That's... Yeah, and then we can have him in. Mancini. Look, I think Gianluca Mancini in a back four. I like Gianluca Mancini in a back three, um, but. I want to see what he can if De Rossi is going to play with a back four, which it seems like he is. I want to see Mancini to the right of that. So I want to wait before I say anything. Mm. I want to wait because I think Mancini has grown. I think he has improved. I think he's matured. I want to wait and see. That's what I want to do. I want to wait and see. Yeah, okay. Uh, Bastoni in, Cambiasso in. I think we'll agree there. 
Um, Fratesi, this is an interesting one. I, I'm not sure on this one. I think Fratesi can be part of the squad because what he does do, if you remember Simone Perotta, no other comparisons between them, but he was a similar style of player in the sense that he would he was very dynamic and made runs from deep, and that really, mm. really worked for Spalletti. So I think Fratesi, Fratesi is useful to Spalletti if as a rotation player coming in off the bench when he's chasing a goal and he needs runs from deep. But mm. if he's going to use Davide Fratesi in the build-up for that phase, hell no. Yeah. I, I would say at most for Fratesi, a, a squad player that can come on. I, I just can't trust him even to start in any type of system. If you can't, if your pass success rate's fifty percent, well, that's what I mean. It's, it's just not. It does, I don't care what, whether you're in the build up or whether you're further up. No, the no, I don't want. I him can't. There. I just can't. You just can't. Yeah. That's just not. That's just not doable at all. Jorginho, I think we agree out. He's he's going to oh, be. Out. He'll be thirty four by the or thirty four, almost pushing on thirty five. So mm-hmm. he he, be, he will be too old. Thank you. Great career. That might be the last time he's he's, he's played for yeah. Italy. Um, Pellegrini, uh, Lorenzo Pellegrini. In, I still believe that a midfield trio with him to the left as a as a mezzala works. Mm. I really, I absolutely believe. I that. would keep him around, um, maybe not as a starter, but he'll be thirty at the next tournament. Maybe keep him around for one more. Cristante has to be out. Oh my god, catapult him into the sun. Mm. Barella in. Yes, has uh, to start. Fagioli, I would have in as well. Me too. Uh, and for show, I mean, let's see how he does it at, at Napoli. See. Let's see how he does at Napoli. I don't want to say definitely out because we, have, I mean, we didn't really see much of him. The attack now, Scamacca, I think, has to be in. We have to give him another chance. Um, we need to see more from him. Mm. Raspadori, yes, 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 yes. But the question is, does he work in a four-three-three? Mm. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, Raspadori question mark for me. I mean, again, we have to look, be realistic with the options. Chiesa, no. Um, unless he he he, you know, something magical happens and he starts performing at somewhat acceptable level. I would I would have Chiesa in for now, but I would have him as a as a sub player, someone Me to bring too. on for like twenty Me minutes. Too. Again, we got him to be realistic with our alternatives. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. We don't have anyone, same. but I, I think we need to same. find a different. We need to find we need to find some attackers basically, yeah. and and yeah. and we can't we can't be starting with the same attackers that started in no. this tournament and expect different results because. No. Because it's not going to happen, so I would keep Kaiser along, but 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 as an as a backup. I don't know if you a, mentioned Calafiori, but we definitely. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, Calafiori, yeah, goes yeah, without saying. But yeah. I think goes without saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Retegi, I think no, out has no. to be out. Yeah, no, yeah, just not, I, just not, 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 not based not. on what we've seen, and and I think he was, you know, it's just just too, too just too limited. Yeah, he's he's, a, yeah. he's a, just a box player, and Zakanyi, yeah. uh, you know, I I I, I want to say well done to him. I thought he did well with the scraps he did. In the I think he should be in the squad but if he delivers. He's twenty nine years old. He'll be thirty one yeah. at the next tournament. I, I think he will be past yeah. past his best yeah. then. So yeah. I'm going to say That's no. Fair enough. We need to That's think fair. how old they're going to be at the next tournament. And El Sharawi definitely um, out out definitely. Okay, so that, that's, that's the players that are there. Um, in terms of players who didn't go to the Euros, who need to be part of the group going forward, I've got a list here. I'll read them out, and then you just tell me if there's any you would you would add to or anyone you would disagree with. So, De Gregorio's third goalkeeper, as we said. Odogi as one of the left-backs. I would yeah. make him the left-back starter going forward. Scalvini is one of the centre-backs, assuming he recovers okay. Fingers crossed from the ACL. Um Tonali will be a pillar of the centre midfield. Uh, huge, huge miss from the, from this tournament. We said it at the time. I think we were doomed as soon as he was got as soon as he was uh, ruled out of the tournament way back at the start. And of the I want season. him back in the Serie A. Bring yeah. him back from for the Premier League. Mm. Locatelli mm. brought back in the squad. I'm hoping that Thiago Motta can can resurrect him and um, back in the squad. Locatelli, and then in the attack again, we're really really struggling for for attackers coming through. So there's not much we can do here, but. I'm hoping again, Nyonto potentially, if he gets a move from Leeds from the Championship and develops, at least he's the 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 the, the style of player that you know you're saying about what suits the Spalletti style. I'm mm. I'm thinking that he is that 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 kind of player. Um, are there anyone anybody else that you you would? Um... I'm looking at youth. I really believe in Michael Coyote. Mm-hmm. I really really believe in in him. I think he he has a huge future ahead of him, and I think he could be the right starting right back for Italy in a back four for for a long, long time. You know my love for Samuel Ricci. It's not new. Parisi, I hope, gets starts playing football properly now. And 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 you know I don't know what they're gonna do now because Parisi, you know, now that Paladino's talked about playing with a back three, 
um, taking over at Fiorentina. So either you play Parisi as a wing back. We know that he works as a full back. But regardless, I want Parisi. I want Parisi in some place where he can play. I want Baldanzi starts to start being reintegrated into the into Roma and playing regularly. Um, Ruggeri, I think, has done really well at Atalanta. Um, no, I do. Th- I, I look at that squad and I see, you know, Caiode Bastoni, Calafiori, Udoji, Donnarumma is is a good place to start. Yeah, Caiode, I want to see him develop more technically. Uh, but mm. physically, I, I think he's got the attributes ne- definitely um, to play the kind of Spalletti kind of you know. And then more, I look at to bring more intensity, but I, I want to see him more technically. Uh, he's been a, a little bit limited from what I've seen of him technically, but mm. we'll see how he and develops. Then I, you know, and I look at the midfield: Barella, Tonali, Pellegrini, or Barella, Fagioli, mm. Ricci. Well, let's Tonali. talk. What would be a possible eleven at the twenty twenty six World Cup? Donnarumma, if we're going to go with a 4-3-3 slash 4-2-3-1, which is, we know what, that's what Spalletti wants to play. No, we need to do that. We Don, need to scrap all this nonsense. Yeah, Donnarumma about in goal. Then, yeah. if Bellanova can develop, Cayode or Bellanova at right back, Badoji at left back. Yeah. Then the centre-backs, Calafiori and Bastoni, but then Scalvini is a kind of an alternative option yeah. as well there, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. he can, can... And then the midfield, I think Barrera and Tonali, definitely, to start. Yeah. And then we kind of need to find a kind of a regista. Yeah. We need we need Fatali, someone we need someone to, to emerge as a top regista. Yeah, uh, that's what we need. So we hope that maybe Fagioli, Ricci can can develop. Or you can you can play because Barella is a tutocampista, or you can play Tonali there, or Barella is a regista, and mm. then you have Tonali and Pellegrini. I mean, you've got options. I'm yeah. not worried about this. The attack is going to be the problem again. And right now, we basically <sighs> we, we need we basically need players to emerge. Players that we haven't mentioned. Players that are not are not there yet. Um, Nyonto, I, I still want to hold on to some hope with Nyonto, but it really develops on where you need to moved. join a team that plays a four-three-three. Yeah, and leave the championship. Yes. Um, so uh, again, that's clutching at straws a little bit. I put Chiesa question mark, but again, that's because I'm just yeah. I, I'm looking at where are the alternatives. Like th- this is the problem. And Skamaka, we're hoping that he can emerge. It might be. It probably is going to be too early for someone like Kamada. But again, <laughs> you never know. You know, he, he, he absolutely destroyed the under-17 Euros. He's way too good for that level. So why can't he move up to a well, What about, level? you can still play a 4-3-3 three, three and, and you can invert maybe Pellegrini instead of on the left wing. Yeah, you know I, mean. nah. I think, listen, if we want to play, if we want to play the style of, of Spalletti, I, I just think we need, we need faster oh, Because players. if you've got Udoji marauding up the wing, um, mm. you could kind of have Pellegrini. No, no, you could. There. In the kind of way, the way that Insigne did it. Yeah, but I mean, I think yeah. that, I think that we need quicker players. We need players with more pace and intensity. And Absolutely. I just don't think Pellegrini fits into that. Into that same mm. reason for De Marco doesn't like. Um, mm. They're just too slow, both of them. I don't think that that suits the press. If you try and win the ball up high and quickly, you can't have players like De Marco and and Pellegrini and and, and these kind of players. So, yeah. But at the end of the day, <laughs> where are the players? That's the problem in the attack. Anyway, let's leave it at that. Let's I just... think, look, let me. I just want to end by saying I'm not too negative moving to the future because, again, I, I'm actually pretty bullish. I, I look at what happened, what, what, how Italy is, you know, performing at youth level, and I'm, and I see some interesting players there, and I see some, and I, and I look at this lineup, and I finally see a hope for the back four, which we haven't seen for, or, or central defenders for the first time in ages. Um, I look at the midfield. I think it's fine. the The goalkeeper, there's no discussion. I, I'm worried about the attack behind Scamacca, Nionto, Chiesa. Like the the front three is an audition. We need that's what Italy need. The front three, and there's now two full seasons. A lot can happen in those in those two seasons. But yeah, th- th- that's where I'm more worried more than anything mm. is is those areas. But I'm not worried. I think that I think that will be fine. I think the most important thing now is this. Like I said, and I keep repeating it, Spalletti has to. If you're going to stick with him, which you've decided that you're going to, you have to give him the mandate to pick and build what he wants, how he wants, irrespective of who he excludes. Don't put pressure on him to call players that he doesn't believe in, that he doesn't think fits his system. That's it. That's all I want to see. Yeah. I, don't care who I, 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 I agree with you there. 